Obergate! Special report. Toronto, this is your weekly dump. There's nothing in here. Empty. Toronto, we gotta talk about the elephant on the streets. Uber. Now, if you don't know what Uber is, it's like Airbnb, but for cars. And if you don't know what Airbnb is, how are you watching this video? Tell your kids to explain these things before they play a video for you. Okay, grandpops? I don't have time. Now I'm off topic. Good start. Great. The Toronto cab industry is unhappy about Uber cutting into their business, so they've blockaded city streets twice now in protest of the app and to win over the hearts and minds of Torontonians because that's how you make friends. You block traffic during rush hour. That's how you get people on your side. Good move. It's great. Cabbies trying to shut down Uber is kind of like postal workers trying to shut down email. The mail is like a good woman. You won't appreciate it if you get it right away. Also, sometimes it uh, doesn't even make it to your house. Just like a good woman. You know, you know what would be amazing is if the cab blockade was blockaded by a horse and carriage. <laughs> see what I did there? You see what I did? The hunter becomes the hunted. <laughs> Seriously though, if you talk to anyone who's ever used an Uber in Toronto, they'll tell you they love it. It's cleaner, faster, and way cheaper. Uh, than a regular cab, like way cheaper, like 40% cheaper, depending on when you get it. Unless you're talking to that passenger who got sexually assaulted by her Uber driver, which is terrible, it's totally an awful thing, and uh, you know what? What are we thinking? It's an unregulated industry, like shut, it should be shut down, okay? The city of Toronto, a city of Toronto regulated industry would never allow this. They would never allow this kind of thing to happen, so you know what? Uber, just shut down Uber. What are we doing? What are we thinking? What? What's that? What is that? Come on, what is this? A 2013 star report? 255 cabbies retained their licenses even after the city tried to take them off the road for incidents that included drunk driving, sexual assault, and, ooh, bit of a curveball here, stun driving. Didn't see that coming. Equally dangerous. Didn't see it coming. What is this? Fast and Furious Toronto Drift? <laughs> Nailed it. Not all cab drivers are like this, obviously, and the city of Toronto is working hard to weed out the bad apples, okay? Like this guy. He's off the streets. Seven years after being convicted of sexually assaulting a mentally challenged 13-year-old girl. That can't be right. Is that... is... hold on. Seven years. Took seven years. City of Toronto! Keeping your cab rides exciting. Pop quiz, what's that in his hand? I can't tell, it's blurry because he's drunk and swinging at whoever's taking the photo. Car keys? Hope not. Uber, on the other hand, has a very strict five-year criminal and background check that has no real appeal process that we could find. There are at least 26 current Toronto taxi drivers that applied to become Uber drivers and were denied because of their background checks. I know a guy who egged a house five years ago. Not allowed to be an Uber driver. So basically, here's how it works, all right? Convicted of sexual assault? You could be a Toronto cab driver. Stunt driving? You could be a Toronto cab driver. Are you drunk right now? You could be a Toronto cab driver. Throwing a little crack, you could be the mayor. It's a land of opportunity. Most cab drivers are good, hardworking people just trying to feed their families. The real problem is this oppressive medallion system where the right to drive a cab in Toronto costs up to $800 thousand dollars and these medallions don't even regulate anything obviously and they're not even owned by the cab drivers they're owned mainly by a bunch of old rich white men i said it the whole thing sounds like a goddamn conspiracy theory but it's not it's real and we're going to talk about it on the next video 12 years of cabbie subscribe and stay tuned for that the whole it's a goddamn racket the whole thing's a goddamn racket and we're going to crack it open right here on the weekly dump god damn it subscribe to the channel <laughs>